Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. What about the new people? Oh, hi to all you new people. We welcome you. And well, I guess it's kind of, we're kind of hoping there are new people. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we love to have everybody that keeps coming back, but <laughs> welcome nice to, to everyone. Yeah. In every country. <laughs> <laughs> you expect other people in other countries to look at these videos? Well, we do get some comments from Russia and Germany. What was it? England and other places. Well, that's so, true. Yeah. So other so we're just gonna cover the whole planet. Okay. Welcome. So, <laughs> today's <laughs> video is going to be on an ideal Shirley Temple doll. She's a hard plastic doll. And she was made in the 50s. Late 50s. Late 50s. And she has saran hair and she's a little bit rare because they didn't make as many 17 inches they did. And 19. And 19. But she's as, a 17. And she's a 17 as they did the little ones because the bigger, taller ones are, of course, more expensive. With most dolls, like with Tony's. Same thing. You know, you get a, a, a 21 inch tall doll and they didn't sell as many as the 14 inch. And so that makes them a little bit more desirable because there aren't as many. Right. So does she have flirty eyes? No, I have one with flirty eyes, but the one that we're going to be working on does not have flirty eyes. They said she did, but when I got her, she didn't. Well, why would a doll want to flirt? I don't think the doll flirts. I think that her eyes look like they're flirting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They seem to follow you, and some people don't like that. We're putting up a doll that doesn't have flirty eyes. I'm one of them. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's go watch the video. Oh, well, hello everyone. I'd like to introduce you to Shirley Temple. That's not the normal Shirley Temple that we see. Well, there's the ones that are composition from the 34s up, 1934. Which we've done a video on. But this one is a probably a late 50s. Mm -hmm. And she is 17 inches. And she has her original coloring, her original hair, ah, and her original clothing. We think. We think. Oh, absolutely. It's either, it's so, either original or, or it is it's definitely well, of the period. But, but there's one thing we need to we need to fix. What? In our. Um, oh, she said it was hard plastic, and no, this is hard vinyl. <laughs> yeah, well, we we work so much Us with, hard with hard plastic. We just kind of had hard plastic on the brain. Yes, no, she's hard vinyl with a little. Oh, I'm so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Softer vinyl for her head. Right, and her hair is actually in wonderful condition. That's not what I was going to say. What? Oh, it's Saran. Yes. Yeah, I love her hair. Her hair is great. And her little spit curl, can't forget being a spit curl, will be a spit curl for the rest of its life. It just is, I know I'm supposed to be a spit curl and I'm going to stay a spit curl. Yeah. <laughs> she's an ideal doll. She's 17 inches tall. All her original coloring, isn't she gorgeous? She is. And I think the first thing we're going to do, is, which we haven't done in a while. No, I haven't If watched. you've been watching our videos chronologically, we haven't done a hair washing in a while. So we're going to do a very brief um, showing how we do it. Yeah, look at this memory. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to know where to put them. Oh, yeah, and I got my book. Judith Eisen, third edition, Ideal Dolls. Page, for all you folks that are interested, on page 7, uh, no, 2, 15, they start the 17 inch Shirley Temples from the 50s. Yep. Okay, let's go get her hair washed. Yeah, let's go do that. Well, here Shirley is, 17 inch Shirley. She's about to get her hair washed, but she wants to take a little. I can give shit. She wants to take a soak. I think you want to take a soak. I want to play. <laughs> That's me. I play. Oh, there it goes. She's lounging. Yep, she's lounging. Okay. Let's go see her get her hair washed. So she's just going to get her, her hair wet wet down. And, and since she is a... Wait a minute, this is a little hot for me. Her hair is rooted. Mm -hmm. No wig cap. No wig cap. So I don't want water going in her head. 
So she's pretty much getting her hair washed upside down. Right. Nice way to get your hair washed. Actually, don't we all wash our hair upside down? Well, yeah. <laughs> so to speed things along, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. She's going to use... She's got so much hair, guys. I can just yeah, take me a while to get it wet. I'm, so I'm going to explain these things. Yeah. And you, you can see a uh, full tutorial, which is essentially the same, on a uh, hard plastic Tony doll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I'll put a link in the description. And so all she's going to do is she puts a little bit of shampoo on her hair. It's been... Um, Dilute it a little bit with some water. Yeah, if I need more, I'll just grab more. <laughs> then, She's got so much hair, I think I'm going to need more. Then after she has washed it and rinsed it, she's going to then put a conditioner of uh, Downy Free and Gentle that is going to be diluted a little bit. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Carl, well, here you are with her hair wash. And you can see Saran has a great memory. And gives you an idea how her hair was set originally. And by looking at the book, I pretty much know how her hair was set originally. And that's what I'm going to do. Well, I've looked at her wig because her wig will tell me what to do. And I've also looked in the book to find a doll that has a wig like hers mm -hmm. because there are different styles. And uh, so this is what I do. So did and, you comb it out first? No. In this case, I didn't because her hair wasn't in is wasn't tangled. It's just thick. Okay. And so because it's Saran and it does have a memory, and because it's a Shirley Temple down, you can see her hair, no matter what I do, it goes back into its memory. Mm -hmm. So you want the, the hair to tell you what to do. So this is this is a curl this is a curl mm -hmm. so i didn't want to comb it out i want the curls to tell me where they're supposed to be right so this so you is, have your next curl so i have my next curl i did these these don't have a memory these are the short hairs that are supposed to be coming this way now this hair this hair goes back this way and what i do with saran and a lot of people might not like it i don't know but I learned it from somebody, and I didn't trust it, but then I did, and I am so happy that I learned it because I've got such wonderful results with Saran. First of all, you're making sure that the hair is it's very wet. And then... Now, the sound that you're hearing is the water hitting it's the, the heat. crackling from the heat of, and of the in water. case you are new and you have never seen one of our videos this is a whoop all right you show me hey <laughs> i have to do this because her hair is screwed in that direction okay. so i have to go in this direction yeah that's what her hair tells me it wants to do so i have to do that N now you can see how smooth I you see. Can, did you see the damage ends and they're not damaged anymore so what I'm trying to show everybody is that this is a uh, curling iron that has a digital uh, temperature and it's a very small one. I'm not sure that they're still selling these this particular brand at Amazon, but I will put in a link to it because they will take you to ones that are similar to it. And you keep it on 160 for Saran, correct? Yeah, it goes from 120 to 140 to 160 to 180. Please don't do 180 or 200. I don't, 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 don't. I found that 120 wasn't enough. I found that 140 wasn't enough. Got to 160 and oh my goodness. It Sounds like a fairy tale I used, I used to hear. Yeah. You know, three bears and a... Yeah. Ooh, and a little, a little blonde with curly hair. Yes. My <laughs> locks. Okay. So... Um, then I found that 160 did um, repair the hair. So this is what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see how shiny her hair is. I can. And you'll see. So let's see another one, and then we will speed it up. Uh, this there's there's quite a bit of damage right in this section, but I'm still going to take one curl at a time. Now, this is a curl. I didn't choose it. 
on other dolls that aren't the Shirley Temple dolls, um, I just take a section. Let's say it was a Tony Mohair. I do entirely different, but I'm listening to her wig because, or a, a other Saran wigs. This is a little, I don't want it, that little end. So I just snip it off and I'm going to get it really wet. I'm going to get it really wet and I'm going to go in the direction it said. So there's a saran, there's some saran here, uh, dolls that are right in front of me. They, um, all I had to do was follow the wig and never even had to um, put a curler in them. Now you're not clamping down. You're just letting it slide oh, no. over you have the to hair. Never clamp down because if you clamp down, you're going to burn it. And so not always in the Shirley Temple case, I have to... Um, I'm going to have to uh, curl it because of the banana but curls. But let's see how much shinier it is. Oh, yeah. It's very shiny. See, guys? Lovely. So, anyway. Um, and you use end papers because you never know. This might be someone's first video. Oh, yes. I use end papers to keep those ends flat. Because the way to destroy ends is to crunch them. And some of these ends are like this. Mm -hmm. That's damage. Okay. And so I don't want the damage. Oh, I'm looking for a roller. I thought I had a roller out. Did I have a blue roller out? I guess not. So anyway, there's a blue roller, but I didn't take that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I, I make sure the hair is down a ways. And then I start wrapping the paper. And then I wrap the hair. And I want to keep that hair flat. See how beautiful that is? And then I spread. And of course, it's different for mohair. It's different for nylon. And actually, it can be a little bit different with the different types of so, saran. Right, because there are, this is a more coarse saran than some other sarans that I've done. These 50 ones, 1950. Uh, Shirley Temples are a little bit more coarse. And it works, but if you're too afraid to do it, I understand. Um, but this is how I get the results everybody's so crazy about. Okay, so I think we're going to speed it up. So in this section of her hair is the top and it's supposed to be more flat and the curls are supposed to be down here. Look at the photos. And so it doesn't have the memory of these curls down here. And how'd they get that memory? The memory comes at the factory when they make these, where they make these wigs. This is all damage, a lot of damage. And so I'm using these small tines. I'll get back to that in a second. I'm using these the small tine because when I put the heat on it, I don't want it, I want it flat. I don't want that damage wrinkled, is a bad word, but you know, I want it to come out straight. So I'm gonna do the comb again. It should go through a lot easier than it did, but there was a catch, so there was a part that wasn't flat. So I'm gonna heat it again because it's such sits much better than it was but it's not good enough for me and so i'm straightening it out do you see that can you guys see how flat that is mm -hmm. and how the damage has been helped do you see that so explain to us okay so how they get these get the hair to have this memory that no matter what you do it's going to go back is they use extremely high heat to make those wigs and they bake them and make it and to get those curls 
And this is not extremely high heat. This is, I'm just using 160 to make repairs. I could never use the heat that they use. You're making repairs to the fiber. I'm making repairs to the damaged fiber um, that has been for so many decades. And that's it. And if you notice, I'm not curling to the top because that's not the style. Her style, her particular stuff, it was, as her as a little girl, a baby, you know, you'd be going all the way up the top, but she's not. She's a 57 and, and she has a, a more, an older, uh, older child's um, style. Okay, so I think the next thing that ever we're going to see is a lot of curls in her hair. Well, I hope so. <laughs> it will. Well, here she is in all her glory. Well, when you, <laughs> usually when we say, well, they've got a Shirley Temple do, we usually aren't talking about a Shirley Temple doll. Yes, and look at all those curlers. Oh, yep. my. And they have a lot of hair on each curler, so. And they look very smooth. Oh, yes, her hair is very shiny. Wonderful. Then the iron did its work. It did its work, right. But I wasn't expecting. She winked at you. It would take that long. It would take a long time. She winked at you. Did you wink at me? My other one. This one? Mm. There you go. <laughs> okay. She sure is a pretty doll. So now while she goes and has her hair dry for the next day or two. At least. I'm going to show you another doll. Yes. It's a two for one in this one. Kind of. Well, hello, everyone. Heavens I to Betsy. <laughs> I'm... 12 inches instead of 17. Yeah, but look what's all over her head. I know the amount of hair these dolls have is unbelievable. Well, obviously, you've already worked on this little girl. Experiment. Hmm. Well, her head looks like an experiment. <laughs> so these are the rods. That That's where they went. Yeah, all these little... You stole my I did. sewing. I wondered where my sewing clips were. Well, they had been in her head for quite some time. You haven't been sewing for a while, have you? <laughs> no, when I was sewing the last time, I was wondering where all my clips went. Okay. Okay, well, they're in her hair. That's a very interesting way of doing um, curlers on a smaller doll. So I use the, the rod that goes through the um, foam mm -hmm. roller, and then I used these clips that are for sewing, and if you can see that, it works fantastic, and it doesn't leave a line in the saran. I have found them to be a very useful little For clips. a lot of things. Yeah. Well, that's why you stole them. Uh, I'll get them back today. Okay. So what we're going to do is, is, she was my experiment. She just came in a package with a, a bunch of other dolls. Um, she was filthy. And as you can see in this yeah, picture. Yeah, filthy. <laughs> well, but the picture you can see right now up, she definitely had issues. She was filthy. Her hair needed to be fixed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that her fair hair has been fixed. I don't know yet. We'll see. And her dress, as you can see in this picture. Or her dress came out was fine. Definitely was not white and then now it's white. <laughs> oh, there's a snap that's not snapped. Oh, okay, so let's see. Because we're not going to spend a lot of time on her. We're just no. going to take down a few curlers. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to take, I'm just going to take her hair down. Oh, you are? I'm just You're gonna not going to let the people see you take down one curler? I just did. It's, but she didn't take it all the way down. Well, I don't know what's going to happen yet. So I need to, before I put it on video, I need to know what's going to happen. Oh, we're so confident, aren't <laughs> I'm, we? I'm never confident. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, what would you call this? Um, kind of your finger in the light socket to gorgeous. I, well, you ready for gorgeous? I'm hoping for gorgeous. Ah, it's going to be gorgeous. Are you guys ready for gorgeous? Here comes gorgeous. We'll see. Well, I guess I had nothing to worry about. <laughs> I could have told you that. <laughs> She never <laughs> listens to me. No. As many times as I tell her that it's going to turn out and be beautiful, she still does not trust me. I was right. She's gorgeous. And definitely a, a difference from her picture. There's a little spit, bro. <laughs> I can't help it that it's over here because that's that's where they put it. That's where they put it. I And when you... From the pictures you saw, you saw how filthy she was. <laughs> She's a clean little girl now. And look how shiny her hair is. It's probably as shiny as the day they got her. Yep. It looks great. There were 32 rods and one spit curl, so she has 33 curls. Yep. And we might 
even do a little short on her because we, we have a different dress we might try on her. Yes, it, I, it's one of hers. Um, I'm well, sure it's fit. a costume, but it's a costume. This um, dress she has on could have been the original dress she came in. We don't know. I think it is, but might be. We don't know because we don't know a lot about. But she's the smaller the version of the of the doll that that this um, video is all about. All about right. And I think that even though she's as sweet as she is, we ought to get back to that other girl. Well, here we are with her uh, totally set, her hair. Mm hmm And Well, so, you know, you just put it up a few seconds ago. Yeah, yeah, a lot of seconds ago because it's been two days. <laughs> That's a <laughs> lot to everybody seconds. else, it's only been a few seconds. Yeah, well, there she is from the front, and I just put this clip in here to keep this out of her face. Anyway, here are some of the curls coming down, and some of the curls want to go back up under here. So all really I, tight. They want to. They, they want wanted to really stay tight. up, and I want them down like this. And so I just well, all I did was gently elongate them, slide a bobby pin on, leave it there for a short time, and it'll stay. <laughs> okay. So what were we gonna? We were gonna discuss something before we we um, take some more of her curlers down about how she is a hard vinyl doll and not yes. strung the way that the other hard no. plastic dolls, the majority of the dolls that we have shown on the yeah, channel, they're hard plastic. They're hard plastic. She's, she's hard vinyl and she's soft vinyl here, as you can see. So she's put together a little differently. Yeah, yeah. it does make it a little bit more difficult, especially in a Shirley because there are a zillion curl, curls in here uh, because her head does not articulate. And explain that. Articulate means you can tip it back, you can tip it forward, or you can tip it to the side and give them that little cute look, you know. Um, all it does is this. <laughs> okay. And, and so I definitely would, weren't taking her head off because her head does not um, come it, off the well, way that a... Well, I think her head does come off. I didn't say it wouldn't. I said, uh, but it, it doesn't, doesn't come, come off, off as same. easily. No, and and it doesn't need it. Her eyes are her fine. Everything is fine. And about she her. doesn't. She doesn't have any smells. And or no anything. smells. So there is really all. All you do is surface cleaner on the outside, um, and her face didn't really need anything. She's in beautiful condition. Yeah, and her eyes are lovely, and yes. her paint is lovely. So I think we should start taking down some more of those curls. So I'll take a roller out to show you. Of course, you want to roll it and unroll it in the right direction, which I don't always do. And the little end. I'll mess. fix it if you if you mess it up, sweetie. Well, I always mess it up. No, you don't. Well, but mostly. I can fix the curls if you're not. And happy you see really. how that wants to pop back Here, up. Let's get rid of that. And you see how that wants to pop back up. It's supposed to look like that, right? And so. What I do, she opened up. I opened up this, the bobby pin to make it so so it could slide all the way through that hair. You see that? That's what I want. <laughs> Very good. I think we should watch it go a little faster. Well, we're going to move on to the dress. So this is the dress she came in and by all, oh, that's the little fuzz. It's still in there. It's a good thing it wasn't ever put in oxygen. Oh, it's clean. kind of got a little flocking on it. It does. Let's see. What are you going to do? It's and already been washed, right? Yes. And since I noticed this flocking here, it's, it's, uh, I don't know how to explain that. It's fuzzy. Not, um, anyway, I'm going to iron it from the other side. Yeah, not on the side that you can not feel Not on the, the side that you can feel this. No, so absolutely not. what I was going to say is, it has already been washed. It was washed when I got her a few years ago, many years ago, actually. She's been protected against sun and dirt and all smells and everything. So you're going to just refresh it? I'm just going to refresh your dress. I don't, it's an old dress and I do not, um, I will refresh, you see, um, the, the um, lace i will you can see it's bent down here mm -hmm. but, 
But what I was going to say, honey, is that you're just going to refresh it with a little bit of water mm -hmm. to iron it instead of ironing ironing it wet, wet like I as usually you usually do. do. That's well, what I'm towel dried. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. So Shante wants me to show you how I iron a sleeve. So I've it's in some of the other um, yeah videos tutorials. So since I'm just going to do this, wet it. This is what I do to iron one of those sleeves. I a wore puff sleeve. Yeah, I wore these when I was a little girl. My mom always had a had a crease. I wasn't happy with the crease then. And I'm not happy with the creases now. I want it to be the way it was when it came from the factory. So we could use a little bit more water under here, I suppose, if we're gonna, going to do it right. Um, so I use, I stuff the sleeves with, um, it can be anything from cotton to gauze. Um, Tissues. Tissue, old fabric, the white. <laughs> no colors is what No she colors, means. no. No colors that could possibly have a dye that would transfer that to would the transfer fabric. That would transfer to the fabric. Absolutely not. And you can see it wants to pop out because I need to fix the lace. But anyway, that's, she wanted me to show that again. So there I did. I showed it again. Um, I, that's how I, I iron a sleeve. No heat involved. No heat involved. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I, I want to mention that this it, pinafore is attached at the waist. It does slide down up here, but it's attached at the waist. And she's got these lovely vintage flowers. And a lot of the uh, pictures of original dresses on the Tony dolls in the 50s, not Tony's, oh, I got Tony in the brain. Um, Shirley's had these flowers in exactly right. the same spot. You wanna be very careful when you're washing a vintage dress that has Do. flowers. They, it's probably pinned on from the factory. If it's pinned on, unpin you remove it. it. You remove the flowers from, if you're going to wash the ribbon, you remove the flowers, put them back on when you're After done. After you're done washing and ironing. You do not wash the flowers. So let's see a little bit of it ironed. So since this does have that flocking, you do the opposite side. Mm -hmm. And so I got her so long ago. I didn't even notice <laughs> it had it on it. This is a very low heat iron that you can find at Joanne Fabrics. And I will put a link to uh, it in the description. And this is a very fragile fabric. Um, in some cases, it's more fragile than others. It depends on who took care of it. And um, it has one setting. This is one setting. The, the iron, she's means. Iron, the iron has one setting. And you can see I'm doing the fragile fabric and it's not hurting it at all. And the other thing you want to do with your lace, uh, let me do it. I don't know. I'll do it up here, I guess. Is this is all going to be crumpled? It's not crumpled with mine because I already did it years ago. Um, but I'm going to show you. You spread this lace gently. With your fingers first. Because it was all crumpled down right to the right to the where it's sewn. And you you flatten it back out the way it was originally. And that's what you do to the whole dress. You make sure that that lace is right the way it used to be. And the this iron will not hurt it at all. So you can see this is crumpled down a little bit, obviously. Uh I don't know why some pressure was on it. I try to keep all pressure off of my dolls and I don't know why this is down, but it came down and I'm going to iron that. So it stands up. So let's see one of the uh, slips. How about you iron one of those? Oh, well, same way. I just did that. This one. I'm not ironing. Okay. I already ironed it and it has, I see it, it has, has all these little, little, um, these little holes and I use fabric fusion so that they could not be made bigger and I will not iron anything. I will not iron that. It's too fragile. Okay. So, so this is not, and you would that's just kind of a cotton. It's kind of a cotton. Um, is it possible somebody added this? It's possible. 
I don't know. This could have been a, its original slip and somebody could have added this. I can't tell. Um, but from the, from the fabric alone, this is nothing um, that you can hurt. And um, so. Okay, so you continue ironing and we shall see this, it when it's done. This is the fabric they used at the time. And I will spray some and show you how I iron it. But this is a, a common fabric used on doll dresses at the time. And what I do is just be very careful. And, oh, somebody's under there. I can feel it. And I just wiggle my iron up and try to get those creases out of the dress up by the waist. And I will do that all along. All the way around. Make sure nothing's laying underneath it like it's pinafore and that is how i iron my vintage clothing okay you continue ironing and we will see it when it's done mm -hmm. well this is shirley's finished uh refreshing of her dress yeah it's been re-ironed and um oops <laughs> and there are her swirl buttons. This just happens to be the way it fits. Um, uh, on this particular dress, this, because her uh, pinafore is attached. We have somebody else who's interested in seeing you it. You want to see the dress? Who invited you? I did. Oh, she invited you. I didn't invite you. No, I didn't invite you. I didn't. But I did. So do you like it? Did I do a good enough job? Oh, she says yes. Oh, got a stretch. That means it was good. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Mm -hmm. Now can I iron you? No. <laughs> can I iron you? Will that help at all? No. <laughs> okay, so the dress is all ready. We've taken down her hair, but we're going to save that for the reveal. Yes. And I think next we should... Oh, she's just telling me she loves me. But don't, <laughs> don't worry. I don't believe a word of it. A tongue of it. <laughs> I think now we ought to see the reveal. What do you think? I think it's about time. To All see right, the let's reveal. go see it. Well, you definitely tamed that mane. Looks that way. She has been a year in the making. Probably. She's been in line for a year. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, well, we had quite a queue for some of our dolls. And she was pretty far back there. But I think she looks wonderful now. I do too. I'm overwhelmed with how well um, her hair came out. And I'm also very pleased with her original dress. Um, we really, um, the fabric is, is ideal, um, what they used for the um, ideal dresses. And this is a pretty good clue that it is um, her original and she has her ideal buttons in the back. and. And so we have a, an original doll here. And uh, I'm very happy about that. How about you? I am too. And I'm really happy and was surprised at how soft oh, her hair, is her so hair soft. came out. It's so soft and shiny. Yep, it Absolutely is. Lovely. So that uh, ironing that you finally mastered <laughs> definitely worked. It does work. And uh, there's a big difference between the before <laughs> And I think her after, I think she almost looks like she would have when she was new. I think she's got, uh, the coloring of her face is absolutely impeccable. Um, that's the way she came. Mm -hmm. And and that we never touched her, her face. Her face Didn't need to. is original. She just needed a bath. Yeah, a slight bath at that. Yep. And then uh, let's see her little mini me. Let's slide her over a little bit make room for a little mini me yeah and there she is and sh she looks fantastic on well I'm really happy with her hair but when you have had it up as long as she did <laughs> you know they're gonna stay <laughs> her her hair i did an i experimented with the um, ironing technique on her before we went to the larger doll and uh, i didn't take her hair down for a long time <laughs> 
No, she was kind of waiting for this video. Yes, yeah, she was waiting for Big Sis to um, um, get her hair done. But anyway, this little, they made them in 12 inch, 17 inch, and did you say 19? Yep. And this is a 12 inch. There are a lot of those out there um, because they were less expensive and there aren't as, aren't as many 17 in, in 19 inches. Right. So, um, I think they both came out lovely. I'm over the I'm over the moon um, with how they they look. She's probably this is probably an original dress. So they have their original panties, original dress. I think replacement shoes, yep. original socks, um, but everything else is uh, is original. I don't know how that happened. Oh, her shoes are not original. No. Nope. But I think that we ought to say uh, we hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, we want to welcome everybody that is new. They're moving on their own. Oh, they're moving on their own. <laughs> I might as well continue. And we want to say that we're really glad to have you. And those that have been watching our videos, we're really happy that you are enjoying these videos. And we really want to say thank you for all your support. We really do need it. And I'm uh, not sure what we're going to do next week. But we have a few that are possibilities. We have some that I'm really enjoying working on. Yeah. We have a really big one coming up. Oh, it's huge. And uh, we want to say, if you'd love to give us a like, that would be wonderful. If you'd like to subscribe, it's we okay would too. just love to have you. And um, I think it's your turn. It's my me. turn? Yeah. First, I want to say, please don't be afraid to work on your saran. Look how well it comes out. Okay. The other thing is, uh, just remember, it is possible to do it yourself. You finally learned it after all these months. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm starting to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I have nothing else to do. What? Oh, you mean? Then remind you of your little oh, tagline. I always, I always need you to remind me because... I do uh, carry on sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we hope you enjoyed it, and we want to say bye, everybody. Bye-bye.